What's going on, guys? It's me, Severin7. And you know, the latter has been pretty frustrating lately in Best of One, but then I remembered my good friend Voja, Jaws of the Conclave. So we're going to spice things up. We're going to play some Naya Elves, and we're going to wreck the ladder, hopefully, by putting this through 40 games and seeing how it does. So let's get straight into that deck list. Here it is, Voja, Naya Elves. Voja's our calling card, though. If you don't know what Voja does, he is a two, a red, a green, and a white for a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Trample and a massive Ward 3. We ramp this guy out pretty quick, so most of the time our opponent doesn't even have enough mana to cast a removal spell and pay the ward, which is amazing. And then whenever he attacks, we put X plus one plus one counters on each creature we control, where X is the number of elves we control, and then draw a card for each wolf we control. Now, we only have the one wolf in the deck, so we will only ever draw one card when we attack with him, but a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Trample draw a card when you attack is pretty good by itself. Not to mention that almost every creature in our deck is an elf except for Enduring Courage. So we just play a whole bunch of ramp guys. We get this guy on the battlefield. We, we attack with him, put three, four, five counters on everything on the board, and it's amazing. It just makes our, our team just massive. It makes all these little guys completely huge threats. So to support Voja, we are playing four Torch to Tower and four Get Lost to deal with early threats and keep the board clear so that we have time to deploy our own threats. For ramp, we're playing three Sentinel Stewart uh, Stalwarts, three uh, four Land of Warlord Speakers, and two Overgrown Zealots. I really like the Overgrown Zealots, even though we aren't playing any face up, face down cards, just because of the four toughness, which dodges like Lightning Strike and a lot of the negative three, negative three removal. That's very popular in black right now. A couple of Fauna Shamans to help us discard maybe additional small creatures that we don't need and go fetch the important ones that we do, like Voja or Selvala. Selvala has been an absolute house in this deck. The fact that she has Vigilance, she makes a whole bunch of mercenaries whenever we cast creatures and she taps for a lot of mana so we can actually have some pretty insane turns thanks to Selvala. Rocco Street Shuff has also been an absolutely amazing card in this deck. It does, you know, give the opponent cards but that temptation for them to cast those cards or play those lands from exile grows our team, gives us food tokens and those food tokens can be absolutely critical against other aggro decks and I have not found uh, giving our opponent an extra card here and there too bad of a drawback given what we can get from Rocco and Enduring Courage is the only non-elf creature in the deck. This creature is just so good though. Most of the time our opponent's removal does not exile. It is mostly destruction based removal and this coming back just means that even if it doesn't live we still get to cast our Voja with haste. Voja with haste is just bonkers. Same thing with just casting all, like we can cast a whole bunch of mana creatures and then still tap them all for mana and play other stuff. Uh, and it's just awesome. This deck is so much fun. It's fast. It has spectacular wins just with tons and tons of damage. Uh, we are playing a single Tulsimir Midnight's Light just for some additional lifelink and it happens to work really nicely as a follow-up to Enduring Courage since both these things get plus two plus oh in haste. Yeah, this deck's just fun. So we're going to put it through 40 games and see how it does. Let's get right into it. All right, vote of time. I can't pronounce your name, but it's Voja time. Opponent's going first. It's all right, though. It's nothing crazy, but. Womp. I've been playing a lot of mono black with this deck. See if this lives. Thankfully, we drew a third land. Nope. Oh. Fireglass Mentor. Play Iconoclast. Opponent gets the land they need. Hmm, Rocco or Lano or Loam Speaker? Tough choices. I think Loam Speaker is Loam Speaker gives us more options next turn. Like we could play Voja next turn if we draw an untapped land. And if they're gonna keep using removal, like I don't want Rocco to just fight the dust like that. 
More lands. Opponent is getting all the freebies. Untapped land. Let's hope the opponent doesn't have a second spell here. Thank goodness. Alright, there's a land. Let's put this on elf. Um, let's get Selvala down. Selvala lets us play Voja next turn if they don't have removal. I gotta run out of removal spells eventually. There we go. And the land. The ping us. Okay, nothing he can play this turn. That's good. Oh, sweet. We can play Voja. Uh, what do we... So we've got... It doesn't really matter. I'll get a mountain. Or, no, wrong color. Uh, white. Green. Red. Boja. Make a dude. Get in. And then we have get lost up. Selvala is so underrated. She's really good in this deck. Yep. Ping, ping, ping. He got us. I'm feeling pretty comfortable about where we're at, though. I'm going to get a couple of Gevs. We'll definitely take care of that. Oof. Now I kind of wish I had gotten rid of that. Oh well. Rocco. Why did it... Why did it tap like that? So frustrated that it tapped like that. I mean, I don't think our opponent, because this this is from Exile, right? So Rocco is going to be very helpful there. We've got a big wall of creatures, so they're not getting through. Yep, they put, so they played the land, thankfully, from Exile, so get a food token, which means we can regain a lot of this life. Rocco has been an all-star in this deck, man. Two from the Harporn. And we can gain three life from the food. And then Pyvar should just seal the deal here. I 
None of those things helps him very much. Like, he can play the Lasher. GG. Yeah, we play Tyvar, pump everything by like a billion after the attack. Like. <laughs> Belcor. Opponent's going first. We will keep this hand. Womp. And a hopeless nightmare. This card is Fauna Shaman, since that's the least useful thing to us. Uh, let's get down the Inspiring Vantage. Our opponent will be real confused when we play Overgrown Zealot next turn. Deep Cavern Bat. Takes our Voja. That's fine. It's the news. Play Zealot. It gets rid of our zealot. We need to draw more lands. Hopefully, we draw a creature this turn, preferably one of our better ones. Rocco is pretty good. Let's spin the deck out some. I don't like giving the opponent more cards, but oh, of course we give them a Liliana of all things. Which wouldn't be that big of a problem if they hadn't just systematically removed everything we've played so far. But this is what we get for a meta filled with mono red. Don't overthink things. Oh, they did not make a sack. What? Do they not understand how this game works? I play this, I get a counter, and now I get rid of their Liliana. Why did they make us discard? That makes no sense. Believe. Don't give them another lily, please. Okay. We unfortunately do not want to play this extra Rocco, but I want to play the land. At least we have Plaza to protect the Rocco now. And we can win this race. We can just keep Rocco alive. My goodness. Okay, well. Then the deck out some more. I can't even afford to play the Rocco really because then I can't Plaza. So we're not gonna do that. Another land. Wow. Thank you. I will take the counter and the food. Don't have anything to discard, so... Land for the opponent. Another bandit's talent. At least they're drawing land, too. Can safely sacrifice both of these since they are out of cards. Yeah. 
Play this on elf. Counter here. Iconoclast with haste. Get in for 10. Put the opponent down to 7. Fast turn. Another land. Wow. Deep cavern bat. Nothing to steal. Why they would play that, I don't know. When it's going to scry to. I would have probably leveled up a bandit's talent if I was them, but... One top, one bottom. We're going to draw a removal spell eventually. Kona says good game, but I mean... Counter here. Not over yet, but I mean, it should be pretty hard for them to come back from this point. Because we still have Plaza to protect Rocco. Hey, get lost. There we go, GG. God, I drew so many lands. <laughs> we still got there though. GG. Boom. D737B. When it goes first. Story of my life. I will keep. Planes, crawling chorus. Cavern on elf. Carrot cake. So it's tokens. Keep one on top. Land of War Lone Speaker is a great draw. Assuming they don't have removal for it. Toby. Alright. Plaza. Iconoclast. No attacks. And we'll plan on... Dealing with Toby. After they go to combat. So no more flying. Block the 1 1. Take 4. Alright, we're playing Voja this turn. Uh, let's go ahead and get in with Iconoclast, see if they want to block. I'm fine with them blocking because we can play two Fauna Shamans next turn and grow the team pretty good. This way we're at least removing some stuff off the board for the- because they, if they draw an untapped land they can play Virtue of Loyalty and really start messing things up for us. Yep. So they'll probably just pass, yep. But that's not gonna be good enough. Uh, let's play and crack the passage. All right, so hold on, let's do this right. Let's, we're gonna make the battlefield forge into a creature. We're gonna crack the passage, go get a forest. Play two fauna shamans. 
Get in, put three counters on everything. Opponent takes it down to eight. And that should be GG. Nice. Voja! Big Dom. Ready for the wolf pack? Wanna goes first again. This is good. Mountain. Boy, I wish I had oh look, a copper line gorge. That was what I was wishing for, a red source. <laughs> so that I could torch the tower. It's unfortunate that they're gonna get the... I think they have to cast it this turn though, right? So we, still, we stop this whole nonsense, they don't get the draw. Nice, all right. Uh, let's play Zealot, since they can't Lightning Strike that, just in case they're playing Lightning Strike. Slick Shot Show Off. Alright, so let's, let's play Cavern on Elf. Get down a loam speaker, hold up towards the tower. This isn't what I want to do, but I mean, we kind of have to. I've been fortunate not to play an overabundance of mono red so far. Seems like mono black is finally starting to Put the pressure on. on a, I knew it. They do have a lightning strike. So it was a good call to play Loma Speaker this turn instead of last turn. What are the odds? Man, if they have a monstrous rage, we're so toast. Oh, this can only be spent to cast creatures. We're good. We're good. All right. Beautiful. Enduring courage. Enduring courage is good. I'm going to play that since I can. It, it's effectively the same as me playing Voja next turn anyway. Except this time, if I play Voja next turn, then the Enduring Courage gets counters too. And Voja gets plus two attack. And even if they have Lightning Strike, it comes back. Enduring Courage is so great. That's why I was so excited about it during spoiler season. Yep. It comes back. Overgrown Zealot's been really great too for the same reason. It doesn't die to Virtue of Persistence. It doesn't die to Lightning Strike. Beautiful. Put count a counter on everything. Draw a card. This will forever be my, my favorite Naya card. I think they were just trying to draw a card, but I guess they forgot about the ward. That should be GG. 
on a shaman That'll do it. Boom goes the dynamite. I have found CEO go, 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 go. We get to go first. Well, I haven't seen that in a while. I'll take it. I've been on the draw an absurd amount lately. Swamp and Tiny Bone joins up. What do we ditch? I guess Fauna Shaman? I guess. I don't know. I think Fauna Shaman is the worst card in my hand right now. Yeah, because, see, yeah, I want to spend my turn getting rid of this. Oh. Let's play Rocco now. Ooh, Vojo, but we can't play it. That's annoying. The opponent's looking for lands. That'll be good for us, but they probably just have removal for Rocco. Which is sad pandas. Ooh. There was no stick there either. Oh. No more distractions. You got us. <laughs> Off you go. when they hit back well this mono black deck might get us just because we're running out of resources really quickly and they still have a full grip fine lasher land and we're just drawing lands Feels bad to waste to get lost on that, but they just play the other tiny bone joints up and make it discarded and if we didn't use it, so another Vadmir on top. Yeah. Unless we draw a Voda right now, we're in trouble. Rocco might be able to do it. Porch the tower is pretty good. Fortunately, we do not get to respond to them playing a land. Actually. Let's do the smart thing and get rid of Gix. Iconoclast is fine. Can gain three life at the end of turn. If they don't do anything. Oh, they're going to mill the Iconoclast. That's okay. There could be something better than that. Underneath the Iconoclast. Who knows? Someone actually trying this. Gotta give them credit for that at least. All 
Alright, come on. Give me something good. Not a land! No! <laughs> Give me a removal! Oh my goodness, that's something I can play next turn, but... The opponent may be tempted to play that bandit talent. Whip. Land. Thank goodness. Unstoppable slasher. Oh my goodness. All right. And they, they do play the bandit talent, thankfully. Thankfully, that doesn't target, so no growing the Vadmir, and I think they forgot our Rocco group. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Another land, and now they get a Shieldred. Oh my gosh. Not going our way. They're going to cut down the Zealot. Thank gosh, we got that land off top. Oh, man. the tower would have been okay but at least we need something beefier i tried that's a lot of lands <laughs> gg nerdy 21 oh, nerdy too we get to go first I'm not loving two Cavern of Souls in the opener, but I'll take the risk. Yeah, I really wish one of these was a regular land. Hey, there's a regular land. Um, <sighs> play Loam Speaker now. Hopefully they don't have lightning strike. Another swift spear. Probably a monstrous rage. No blocks. Alright, we can get lost that one. I'm gonna play Fauna Shaman. And then we'll just get lost whichever one he targets with a bunch of stuff. No blocks. Target this now. He's got more things like that than... At least he's only getting one two two instead of two two twos. Take three. 
But now we get to play Silvala, and we can torch the tower. The Swiss Spear. That doesn't do anything for them. Actually, we're going to play Rocco. No attacks. Enduring Courage is good. They're going to be tempted to play that... that the mouse. And that'll let us put some counters on things. They whiff on the map token, which is good for us. They just scoop. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. We're going on a trip. With a name I can't pronounce. With the froggy Helga. Helga avatar. Opponent's going first. This is a good hand, though. Keep. Hello. Give him the smooch. I like Rocco. Forest and Fountainport. Glimpse the core. All right. So I guess the question is, what manner of ramp is this? We're ramping too, though, so... Oh, I fetched the wrong land. I meant to get a mountain. That's okay. We have another passage. Oops. I want to get the swamp, so they are not mono black. Opponent says good game. Well, now I'm curious as to why they're saying good game. Uh, let's play Silvala. See if that lives. If that lives, we actually can do a lot next turn. Spinewoods Armadillo. Are, are they secretly domain? No, another swamp. So Vala's not going to live, apparently. Bad. Okay. Play Rocco. I'm not going to play the Stalwart. Oh, of course they find a go for the throat. I really wish they'd stop spamming good game. Kind of rude. Glimpse the core, sure. Although if they go for the throat, you get to put a counter here. And as much as I want to get lost, my Rocco, I'm not gonna. Ha! Ah, take one. Underground Mercury. They mill another glimpse to core. Harvester of Misery. Doesn't really do anything. Let's go get a mountain here. Actually, now that I think about it, I might have should have left that. I can't imagine he's not playing board wipes in this deck somewhere. I mean, we did give him map tokens to sacrifice to the fountain port. Is he just ramping to like hard casting Valgavoth or something? There's 
smuggler surprise. Fall born tyrant. And we drew a land. Oh well. Jazz chemist. I can dig it. Chemisting up some jazz. Opponent's going first. I'm not in love with the sand. We're gonna mulligan. This is better. Uh, we will put back Tulsimir. Meticulous Archive. Alright. Blood Farm Verge. Cavern on... Honestly, on Wolf. See if this lives. I'm gonna feel really bad if he... <laughs> okay. I'm gonna feel really bad if he had a counter for that. I'm much more concerned with these getting count the vote just getting countered though. Mills an island. At least it's not an Oculus yet. This is not resolving, I'm sure. Should have named Dog. It did resolve! They're gonna bounce it. Okay. Another moment of truth. Picklock prankster into the yard. Planes. This is gonna be a difficult match. Really? Why? That didn't make any sense to me. I guess my question now is, do I play the Enduring Courage? I'm gonna play it because if they try to bounce it again, I can sack it to Torch the Tower for bargain. Another moment of truth. If we draw an untapped land, we can actually play Selvala and Voja next turn, believe it or not. Does this resolve? We have the two mana if they have Phantom Interference. Oh my gosh. Oh, it hasn't gotten haste yet. No! Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, it is what it is. They're just delaying the inevitable. Like, we don't get to play Selvala now next turn, but we can still play Voja, and they can't counter Voja, so... He's got Ward 3, so they'll be hard-pressed to... Okay. It's annoying, but it's okay. get the doggo back they lose their oculus permanently we've got to get lost if they get another one i'm feeling pretty good now it should be pretty hard for them to deal with yeah there we go that ward three man is a beast
Snillbog. I don't know what that means, but we get to go first. Hooray! We'll keep. It's a pretty good hand, even. Go get a red. Play Iconoclast. I think we're gonna play Voja or play the Cavern on Wolf, maybe. Because I don't know if we'll have Deep Cavern Bats annoying. I mean, he should take Rocco, but he might not. Okay. Oh, we got Torch of Tower. That's good. Let's play it on Elf. Get in for three. Torch the tower of the bat. Let's let him get his land or target do his landfall trigger first. I'm gonna let him do both. He doesn't know about the torch, so. He's going to want to gain life. That worked out. Get in for three. He blocks. That's good for us. He might have a Liliana, though. That play makes me think he has a Liliana, maybe. Or an edict of some kind. Another deep cavern bat. At this point, it doesn't really matter what he takes. He should take Voja now. He can't deal with the Voja right now. And we can cast it. Nope, he takes the Rocco. That wasn't the right play. That was not the right play. If I play Iconoclast, can I still... I cannot. So let's go ahead and get in for four. He doesn't want to take this damage, but he has to. Play Boja. Make a Mercenary. And then he doesn't... He doesn't have a, a removal spell that can deal with Boja right now. Ward 3 is so good. Yep. Alright, we'll get lost, the Preacher. That'll do it! <laughs> GG! No means no, 9889. What about when it doesn't? What about when it means yes? We get to go first. We got a good hand. I'll keep. All right, is it mono red? It is. Okay, can we can we outrun them? We've got a pretty fast hand. So if they don't if they don't have too crazy of a start, we can absolutely blow them away. I really hope I draw another untapped land this turn. Because I'd like to play Enduring Courage. I might play Enduring Courage regardless. Well, Swamp means that they don't have double red pump spell, which is good. So they're more likely to just play creatures here. Or that. Okay. Okay, no, we're gonna play... Selvala here. Because then next turn we can play Enduring Courage and Land Orlom Speaker. Uh, 
And then I think, if I'm correct, the following turn, we can play Tulsimir and Voja. It's a little bit of a pipe dream, but it seems like they're a little shy on red mana right now, which is... Oh, never mind. All right, so if they play show off here, they can probably kill us. Screaming Nemesis. To any other target. No, we just take the three. It's not fun, but we do. Otherwise, they just get us anyway. All right, so Enduring Courage. Then gives us Llanowar Loam Speaker, which makes a dude. Which then gives us Iconoclast. With haste, makes a dude. That's pretty good. We just have to not die now. I mean, I can block the Screaming Nemesis with Enduring Courage now. I don't really care at this point. We just need him not to be able to... to one turn KO us with the slick shot and like we need if he doesn't have the fling I think we're okay I think any combination of spells that doesn't involve a fling and we're fine but if he can pump the heart fire hero up enough and fling it at us Okay, that's... that's good. Well... Doesn't have Trample yet. Cacophony Scamp. Go off. Okay, we got it. We got it! This deck is so fun. And then Tulsimir, I, th oh, we can't quite cast Tulsimir, unfortunate. All right, still, that's a lot of elves. That's definitely lethal. Just a few counters on everything, just, just a few. <laughs> what a way to end the 40 games. An epic, monstrous attack against one of the, the most frustrating decks in the format. What is that? 8, 15, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. It's like 60 damage. 60 or 70. Oh, wait. Can we die? No, because Screaming Nemesis' trigger would happen after he dies. Okay. Woo! Well, and he's blocking something with Trample anyway. So we will only deal three damage to it. I had a panic attack there for a moment. Like, oh, if he blocks the Voja, if he's, that's 11 damage, but it, it tramples over, so he would only take three. And all of the damage triggers and stuff would happen after he dies, so. GG! You did it! Alright!
right, 40 games, 60%. Not bad, especially in this meta, uh, playing a mid rangey I mean, I guess it's not really an aggro deck. It's a mid-range deck. And uh, I really I really enjoyed it. I had a blast. This I, I've been having a really bad time on the ladder lately. I really have. I've tried like 10 different decks and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play Voja because I miss Voja and I wanted to see if I could make this deck work with the new Enduring Courage and having another elf from the new set that also taps for mana and Overgrown Zealot. Uh, so I'm just really happy with it. I think it did really well. We faced a lot of mono black and we actually crushed them. Like we did really good against mono black and a deck like this typically falls to mono black because they're so he removal heavy but we didn't really struggle that much against them. We just had a, a pretty good win rate against them. We did okay against Golgari. We did okay against the reanimation list. We actually only lost one game to Mono Red out of the six games against Mono Red that we played. The, the, these Rakdos games are almost always Mono Red too. I, I think there may have been one actual Rakdos Lizards deck in there, but I know at least two of those were Mono Red. So we actually did really well against Mono Red as well. Um, and then, yeah, the, the, most of our, most of our losses were to like random four color piles, like domain, uh, and just like gruel and Simic and Naya nonsense. But the, the, the stuff that's really rampant on the ladder right now, we actually did really good against. So I'm happy. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I hope that your inner Timmy was satisfied by playing big giant wolves and just smashing our opponent for 50, 60, 70 damage at a time sometimes. And I hope that you will take a quick moment to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Every one of those helps. And I appreciate you all so much. And I will catch you in the next one.